The natural orchestral sounds of the songbirds fill the immense forest and jungles of the planet we call home. Birds come in many different colors, sizes, and variations, yet all testify to a common designer who loves variety. On the vast continent of Africa lives the world's largest bird, the ostrich. Growing up to over nine feet tall, these flightless birds dwarf all others. The ostrich has the largest eye of any land animal, measuring almost five centimeters or two inches in diameter, allowing predators such as lions to be seen from a long distance away. In contrast to the great ostrich is the tiny hummingbird. Weighing only a fourteenth of an ounce or not even two grams, he is yet a testimony to a creative genius. Almost three quarters of this tiny bird's weight is composed of the muscles he uses to work his wings. These wings beat an amazing 80 strokes per second. As spring arrives in the wood, songbirds of various sizes fill the greening forest with their joyful songs, reminding us of the words of the sacred writer. Lo, the winter is past, the time of the singing of birds is come. Created to delight the eye, songbirds come in a variety of colors, which are tastefully displayed in the various shades and hues of their feathers. As its name might suggest, the bright yellow American goldfinch can be seen in much of the United States of America while the brilliant red cardinal finds his home predominantly in the eastern part of the United States. Yet even these splendid feathered fowls exemplify only a small portion of the treetop choristers to be found. Indeed, not all songbirds are even found in the branches of the trees. The American Dipper is North America's only truly aquatic songbird. Dippers forage in streams with rocky bottoms, feeding on insects and small fish. They build their nests behind waterfalls or on boulders or ledges near the streams. Whether in the forest or by the water, springtime brings with it new life. The young of many different species of birds can be seen fulfilling one of the most basic requirements for life, eating. Newly hatched baby ducks venture on foraging expeditions with their mothers. Turkey chicks are out hunting for food and hurrying to keep up with their busy mother. It appears to be quite a challenge to avoid stepping on so many little furry balls of fluff. Of course, foraging for food is a practice not confined only to the birds of North America. On the continent of Australia, an emu mother and her chicks are in search of a meal. These plain, flightless birds do not require a daily meal, though they must have water on a daily basis. On the eastern side of Australia, crimson rosella parrots forage on the ground in company with a wallaby. Unlike the earthbound emus, however, these birds can also be found in the treetops. Here may be found many other unique birds experiencing the foliage of Australia.
Parading far below the treetops, stately swans can be found on lakes and rivers in both the southern and northern hemispheres. These magnificent birds mate for life. They can sleep on either the land or the water, and amazingly can sleep either floating or standing on one leg. Swans are among the largest flying birds and can require about 5 to 27 yards or 5 to 25 meters to become airborne. But the noble swan is not the only beautiful water bird. Flamingos also live in many parts of the world. These pink water birds truly are what they eat. The flamingos derive their pink color from the shellfish that they make their staple food. By contrast, some birds that like to hunt for food in the water are not so colorful. Penguins, though less brilliant in appearance, are still distinguishing looking water birds. Like the emu and the ostrich, they have not the ability to fly. The Magellan penguin lives on much of the southern coast of South America. Magellan penguins are actually monogamous birds, meaning they mate with the same partner year after year. Each year, the male Magellan penguin reclaims his burrow from the previous year and waits to reconnect with his female partner who recognizes his distinctive call. Another dignified, though neutral-toned bird is the owl. Owls are often seen as the birds of the night because most species are active after dusk. Owls can be found on every continent except Antarctica. There are around 200 different species of owls worldwide. An owl has three eyelids, one for blinking, one for sleeping, and one for keeping the eye clean and healthy. An owl's eyes cannot turn. Instead, the owl must rotate its head. Astonishingly, owls can rotate their heads up to 135 degrees to either side, causing some people to believe that owls can turn their heads all the way around. Crows are very intelligent birds. Crows have the biggest brain to body ratio of all the bird species. They also have excellent memories. Crows have been known to skillfully create and construct various tools from dry grasses, leaves, or other materials. One type of crow has even been known to use bait to catch fish. The fact that crows can create tools has puzzled the scientific community since this was previously thought to be a feat that only humans and apes were capable of accomplishing. Here again, nature testifies to a creative designer and not just mere chance. One of the most amazing bird species are the woodpeckers. A woodpecker has a tongue that is around three times the length of its bill sometimes up to 10 centimeters or 4 inches long. When it is not in use, the long tongue wraps around the back of the bird's head between the skin and the skull. Woodpeckers can be seen and heard in many of the forests of the planet pecking at the trees. A woodpecker is able to peck 20 times per second. Strong muscles in their necks give them strength to peck with their head. Other muscles protect the brain from the vibration. The woodpecker's head is specially designed to keep its brain from jiggling too much. Thus, woodpeckers too are a natural testimony to God's creative genius. When we look in God's word, we find that all this vast variety of birds was created on the fifth day. But the flocking birds of the heavens created for our visual and auditory enjoyment were not the only creatures created on the fifth day of creation week. The Genesis account records, And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life, and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. The various creatures of the water, the fish and the whales, were also created on the fifth day.
The diversity in the underwater world of sea creatures is just as extraordinary as that of the birds. Various colors, patterns, and shapes are displayed even beneath the water's surface. Fish, typically possessing gills for breathing and fins for navigation, are the most prevalent of the animals in the sea. In fact, there are more fish species on our planet than all the species of mammals, birds, reptiles, and amphibians combined. The estimated number of species of fish that swims the waters on Earth is more than 25,000 identified species. It is also estimated that more than 15,000 species of fish have not been identified yet. The largest fish is the great whale shark, which can reach 50 feet or more than 15 meters in length. Though the whale shark is rather harmless, generally speaking sharks are notorious predators. They are perhaps the most feared creature of the ocean. However, though they are admittedly dangerous, they also have their limitations. For example, the lives of some sharks are dependent on movement. They must move their entire lives. This forces water over their gills, delivering oxygen to the bloodstream. If they stop moving, then they will suffocate and die. Nurse sharks are found on the sea floor in warm, shallow waters. The scientific name for a nurse shark is Gingli mastoma serratum, which means curled, hinged mouth. Nurse sharks are sluggish creatures that spend the day resting in sizable groups, but at night they hunt alone. Unlike other sharks, nurse sharks are smooth to the touch, and they have thousands of tiny sharp teeth that are arranged in rows and are designed to rotate into position as necessary to replace a broken or a lost tooth. However, sharks are not the only interesting fish to learn about. There are many other fish and sea creatures that might engage the attention. The underwater realm of the ocean is a place of many mysterious creatures. Effective camouflage seems to be a popular trend down in this locality. The octopus is one of the ocean's most talented experts of disguise. These eight-armed creatures live in oceans all over the world. A master at camouflage, an octopus can efficiently change its color to match its surroundings. One species also changes shape to mimic other more dangerous animals. Intelligently designed, an octopus's arms actually have more neurons than its brain. The arms literally have minds of their own. This enables the octopus to use his different arms for different tasks. Curiously designed, seahorses also use camouflage. They can change color very quickly and match any surroundings. The Latin name for these small sea creatures is hippocampus, meaning literally horse caterpillar. Amazingly, seahorses have excellent eyesight which they use to hunt for food. They were created so that their two eyes can work independently of each other, enabling them to look forward and backward at the same time. Equally well designed, sea turtles live in almost every ocean basin around the globe. With their God-given navigation, they migrate immense distances, sometimes even crossing an entire ocean. As a rule, a sea turtle will spend its entire life at sea, except for the adult female who comes ashore to lay her eggs. About 60 days after they have been laid, the eggs hatch, and the baby sea turtles, or hatchlings, as they are called, make their perilous journey to the ocean. The baby turtles will spend their first few years in the open ocean, Later, as adults, they will move to waters nearer to shore. One of the favorites of the ocean, perhaps because of its friendliness toward people, is the dolphin. 
Dolphins inhabit and enhance all the oceans of the world. They are well known for their intelligence, which is visible even in the magnitude of their brain. Scientists have found the ratio of their brain size to their body size is significant. In fact, it is second only to humans. God created these amazing creatures to be able to sleep while resting only one side of the brain at a time, thus enabling them to rest underwater. The killer whale, or orca, is the largest dolphin and is found in all the oceans of the world, although it is most common in the Arctic and Antarctic. It can measure up to 30 feet, or about 10 meters in length. Orcas, which have also been referred to as wolves of the sea, hunt together in pods, just like a pack of land wolves. Nevertheless, killer whales do not chew, and their small prey is swallowed whole. Another most fascinating creature, the jellyfish, is found in all oceans and in some freshwater. These fragile creatures are made up of mostly water. They do not have a brain or any other vital organs, yet they are still living creatures. Amazingly, jellyfish can clone themselves. If they are cut in half, the pieces regrow and turn into two new jellyfish. Some jellyfish have other remarkable behaviors too. For example, moon jellyfish change their color depending on what they eat. If their plant is primarily crustaceans, then they can turn pink or lavender. If it is primarily shrimp, then they have an orange tint. Another baffling fish of the ocean is the anemone fish, more commonly known as the clownfish. Anemone tentacles have a poisonous sting, but a layer of mucus around the clownfish protects it from the sting. Because of this, the anemone essentially serves as a protective haven for this little fish, revealing yet again the design of a creator who cares even for the smallest of his creatures. High in the sky, a majestic eagle soars above earth or sea. Its amazing eyesight penetrates the distance. Eagles can see four to five times further than the average human. Their eyesight is their strongest sense. Eagles are some of the largest birds in the world. There are more than 60 different species of eagle, and they are an exquisite picture in nature of faithfulness. The male and female eagles are monogamous and generally mate for life. They are often devoted to the nesting site as well, so it is common for them to reuse the same nest every year for raising their young. The graceful and often effortless flight of the soaring eagle has long been the subject of human thought. In fact, more than 2,000 years ago, the prophet Isaiah penned these words, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, they shall mount up with wings as eagles. To the keen observer of birds, or the attentive diver in the sea, the evidence of a creative, powerful, and ingenious God is unmistakably discerned in the variety of sky and sea. In the volume of nature may be traced the paintbrush of a loving designer who can make the great feathered ostrich as well as the miniature hummingbird, the plain ordinary shark as well as the brilliantly colored parrotfish. As we look upon the fowl of the air and the fish of the sea and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the sea, let us say with the psalmist, O Lord our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. 
For only a God with an infinite amount of creativity could have created our planet's marvelous creatures.